A good partnership between the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers and several U.S. government agencies led recently to the discovering of a car attempting to smuggle plutonium into the country of Georgia. The radiation detectors recently installed in this central Caucasus country were put into place thanks to the U.S. Customs Service's plan to protect the people of this region and the international community. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers put that plan to action. Well, I can't say enough uh, positive things about the Army Corps. We ask for something and they respond immediately. Uh, in fact, you can't tell the difference between uh, us and them. Uh, it's, it's a hand-in-glove relationship. It's, it's, it's fabulous. Our project actually provided a state-of-the-art facility for both the, the, the Georgia Police and Customs to, to work jointly and have a facility similar to what we have in the United States or in, in Western Europe. Uh, where they can control the border of people going in and out and, and anything that actually crosses that border. The aim of the assistance program is to give Georgians the capability to control the movement of people and goods across its borders and coasts. Events like this foil proliferation attempt verify the importance of the partnership between the country of Georgia and its U.S. partners. They also verify the importance of the mission. The government of Georgia is uh, very receptive, uh, they're very grateful, uh, and it's a, a, a symbiotic relationship. It's an uh, improvement for the uh, government, it's an improvement for our government. Uh, everybody is satisfied. Justin Ward, U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, Tbilisi, Georgia.